how to make CryptoPunks NFT art on Canva. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own CryptoPunk art on the Canva platform. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you need to do is log on to Canva. You can log on via your email account, via your Gmail account, whatever account that you're using. You can log on via that. You can even log on with your Facebook account. And once you do that, this is going to be your basic homepage. Now, on your homepage, you're going to click on custom size over here on the right and then you're going to start by selecting the size you want your nfts now you can go with inches or pixels depending on what you're more comfortable with but for over here i'm going to go with a 1200 by 180 pixel nft and you can lock this size in if you don't want to accidentally change your canvas size but then you're just going to click on create new design now this will open up a blank canvas for you to start working on and if you're wondering okay crypto punk NFTs look like this. How am I supposed to create something that looks like this digital pixelated item on the Canva platform? Well, it's not that difficult, so don't worry about it. First off, you're just going to take a look at your canvas and you're going to zoom in to see the entire thing. So you're going to be able to see this correctly. After that, you're going to either go on to the element section and you can search for a grid over here and then you can start creating your grids. Now you can see that there are many different kinds of grids available on the canva platform where you can just add one of these grids to your canvas over here or you can create your own custom pixelated boxes so i would recommend that you go with your own boxes because that's going to give you a lot of customization in terms of what kind of stuff you want to add but if you don't want your own kind of boxes you can definitely choose one of the grids over here so you can see that one of these basic grids is this one and this is going to enable you to add different images but i wouldn't suggest using these i would suggest that you go into your element section go into the lines and shapes and then you just select one of the basic squares don't select a square with these kinds of lines on the sides or folds on the sides just select a basic square then you're going to resize it and make sure that this is a square and not a rectangle so you want to make sure when you're resizing that you keep the height and width the same so once you do that you're going to select a decent size you want for your entire canvas and once you have that ready you're just going to change the color of your canvas into gray now you can do Control c and Control v select your item and then you're just going to place it over here and then you can create your entire grid all over and this is going to help you in designing your CryptoPunks NFT. So you can choose to go this route or you can just download a grid from Google Images and start off with that. So if you take a image off of Google Images, so any kind of grid image and you paste it over here, the issue with that is that you're not going to be able to customize the size accordingly for your grid. And this is why I like using the square method, because once you create your first line of blocks, so you might be wondering, oh, this is going to take so much time. But actually, you just have to speed through the first line. Now, once you have your first line completed over here, what you're just going to do is you're going to select these all together. And then you're going to do Control C and Control V, and this is going to paste that down below. And then you can just drag this entire item like so. And just make sure that you place it correctly. We're just going to do that again. Make sure you're placing them and aligning them accordingly. And once you have done that, you can just copy this entire section now. And now you can just paste this down below. And like so, your entire page is going to be complete within a few seconds. So we're just going to paste these last boxes over here. This, and now you're ready. Once you have all of these pasted onto your basic canvas, you can just select all of your boxes and you can lock them. And what this does is that now you can't move any of your boxes when you're actually creating your CryptoPunks NFT. Now is the actual part where you're gonna start designing your NFT. So remember the initial size you took your square. If you don't, you can still select a square and check the size. So you can see over here that this is a 86 by 86 inch square. And you can just drag and drop to see if you're not sure. You can just copy another individual square. So you're just going to unlock your grid, copy and paste one square, place it over here, change the color. And now you can see what the size was. And you can see that this is just another 86 by 86 inch square. So I'm just going to delete that and save my entire grid over here. 
so I'm just going to make sure to select my items. So I'm just going to select all of these, make sure they're all squared out and selected. And now it's time to start working on my CryptoPunks NFT. So looking at any of your basic NFTs, you can see you have a basic black outline and then you have hair and eyes and a one pixel eyeball. So I'm going to start off by creating a outline for the basic face shape. And you can open up any one individual NFT to use as a a reference so go with a basic looking one for you to start designing off of and then you can customize it accordingly so i'm just going to start off by creating a simple line and then a few dots for the ear and then another simple line on the parallel side so i'm just going to select a square i'm going to resize it into 86 by 86 because that is the size of the squares on my grid and now i'm going to make this a black one and now you can see over here that I'm going to start placing it right off center. So this is my center of my overall look and I'm going to place it over here. And I'm just going to do control C and control V. And this is the entire process of creating your NFTs. It's not that hard and you don't need to worry about it. It might feel a bit difficult at times. But it's all right. So you can see over here there's like this two block section where the ear comes out. So we're just going to add that over here and I'm just going to add my little ears like so. Block is placed right on the outside. We're going to do that and we're going to place this on the inside. And then I'm just going to add a few blocks on top like this. And then you have another block like here. And this is going to give the height of the head. So I'm just going to place that here and place that over here. Make sure it's 86 by 86. If you ever mess up your proportions, you can always just click on any singular block, unlock it, do control C and control V change the color and start using that as your reference block if you ever mess up your sizes so don't worry about that and then you can lock your gray blocks back into place so once i have done that i'm just going to keep on working with my black blocks now i'm going to place this over here and i'm just going to take a look at my CryptoPunks nfts to get like a good idea of how everything is placed now I guess this looks pretty good and now it's going to be a straight black line so I'm just going to copy these three blocks and I'm going to do a control C and control V and this is just going to reduce the time it takes for me to actually create my NFT and I'm just going to place this over here. Now once you have your basic outline ready you can start working on your internals. So first off, you're going to create a base layer of skin and you can just copy out these sections. Do a control C and control V, place them on the center and select a color from the color palette. So go within the yellows and then search for any kind of shade that you find is going to be fitting for skin. I think this looks like a pretty good shade. And you can just lay these out over at the bottom. Now you can choose to do it like this or you can add your own colors as you go. But I find that just doing this directly saves you a lot of time. So you can just do it like this and just copy the skin colored blocks and just lay them out in the entire CryptoPunk NFT. But make sure you are actually doing it block by block. Don't like add or expand any of your blocks because you want to make sure you're following your grid. And if you don't follow the grid, it might mess up your proportions when you're adding stuff on top. So that is why I actually always copy blocks and not just, you know, directly add items because you can see those tiny lines on Canva, which are going to serve as a guideline later on for you to place your different colored blocks as well. So now I have laid out the basic foundation and now I'm just going to add the eyes over here in a singular block. So make sure that they are aligned over here. Just use your black blocks as your reference if you can't distinguish on your skin colored blocks. And we're going to place the eyes over here. And now I'm just going to copy this. And I want to add pink lips because I want this to be like a girl NFT. So I'm just going to change the color and make this like a nice cute little pink. And I'm just going to add these over here and do a control C and control V like this. And I'm going to add like super pouty lips. And then I'm going to add some hair on top later on. 
Now once I have the lips ready, I'm just going to copy out this block over here and I'm going to use this as a frame to create my hair and you can change the color of your hair as well if you want. So you can see that if I do control C and control V, I can just place it over here and then make the hair like a dark brown instead of a black so it's a bit more distinguishable from the overall outline of the person's head like this and now i'm just going to copy the brown boxes to make it a bit more easier for me like this and you can even rotate boxes if you're trying to save time so i'm just going to do the tiresome process of just copying and pasting these boxes but i'm just going to add some hair and then you can add a background in the back as well like this so I just want a bun hairstyle for the girl that I have created over here. And this is very much similar to a actual CryptoPunks NFT. And this is actually pretty similar to a actual CryptoPunks NFT. You honestly couldn't tell the difference unless you knew. But we also haven't added a background yet. So once your background is done, done this is going to be exactly the same thing as a CryptoPunks NFT. So once you have created your NFT, you're just gonna click on download over here and you can choose to download it in a PNG, JPEG, or a mp4 file as well if you have any moving images so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your own CryptoPunks nfts using canva make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video